Welcome back. Man, let me tell you, you sure missed a lot since last time. Captain Tim and his daughter Izzy worked together to fiberglass the bottom of the floor. They also finally got all the stringers and bulkheads done. Man, this sure has turned into one heck of a project. Let's see what they're up to now. Evie, what are we getting ready to do? Put the floor in. Izzy, what are we getting ready to do? Put the floor in. That's right, it's time to put the floor in, but first we're going to put some flotation in the floor. What are we going to use for that? Water bottle! Okay. Just surprisingly, each one of these bottles provides one pound of buoyancy. And of course, could have used marine foam, but marine foam's silly expensive, and eventually it gets impregnated with water, and it ends up being heavy. So the cereal, these will never get filled with water, and if water gets in each of these uh, compartments, it'll just drain out through the weep holes and go away. And this adds no weight. And it's dirt cheap, and we're saving the planet because that's what the package said: save the planet by recycling. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna take the piece of wood now. We set it on our stringer. Do I get a step on it? Sure. Go ahead, stand on it, Izzy. You might not even be heavy enough. There it goes. But right now, you are being the floor. Okay? We gotta crush them down to where they fill this gap underneath the floor. Now I have to put the cap on them. Set the floor in as there's going to be adhesive on all the little supports. Yeah. So we need to make sure that when we set the floor down, it just goes straight down. You want to test fit the floor real quick? Yep. And I reach through like this, just like that. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Yep, we're officially putting in the floor. All right. Ready? No going back once we start this. I like the pink stuff because it helps you see when it's thoroughly mixed. See how, see, see how it's swirly? It's not mixed. Once it's all the same color, you know it's mixed. Then it's a homogenous with a uh, number of learning that dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. See the different parts in Homogen what? Versus heterogeneous. Hetero what? Oh, I'm a heterogeneous. I'm a heterogeneous. I'm a genius. Right? Mommy's over here using big words on us. I just want to stick my hand in there so bad. Put gloves on. And then because this is a... Ready, Mommy? We're going to do science. This... Ready, girls? Yeah. This is called an exothermic reaction. So what does that mean? What's thermo mean? Hot. Yep, what's exo mean? Outside, right? So it it what emits heat, an exothermic reaction, which means it's, it's letting heat out. So if we leave it in a big pile, it's gonna let off a lot of heat from one area and then kick off really fast. So we want to spread it out. See how I spread it out on there? Yeah. And that's gonna make it go a lot slower. Yep.
All right, I got the floor in. As you can see, the whole family stepped out to help with this one. It's kind of a big job to lift the floor up and set it in place, and we had a lot of prep work to do. Um, everything went great. Everybody had fun helping out. Actually, you know what? Let's go ask the kids and see what they thought. What was your favorite part, Abby? Um, helping put on the glue stuff, the uh, resin. How about you, Isabel? Helping Dad put the resin on whatever on the um, floor. You excited for the boat to be done? Yeah. Yes. We're getting there, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. How about you, babe? What do you think? I can't I wait till this, this boat's mom. done. That's all I got. Me too. What do you say to everybody? Um, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. Hit the like to. button. <laughs> like and subscribe and hit the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you next time? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> See you on the water? Yeah. yeah. What about you, girl? <laughs> yeah.